$65,000 is a lot of freaking money. And in fact, that is more than what I made in my business the first two years combined. But I think it's time to have a discussion about coaching or masterminds because it's time to get really transparent about these things and talk about the truth. Go ahead and comment below if you've ever hired a coach, put in the comments coach, or if you ever join a mastermind, put in the comments mastermind, just so I can get a sense of where all of you are at. The Success Alliance defines a mastermind as a combination of brainstorming, education, peer accountability, and support to sharpen your business and personal skills skills. A mastermind group helps you and your mastermind group members achieve success. Members challenge each other to set strong goals and more importantly to accomplish them. Sometimes there's an overall leader or like a coach of these masterminds to kind of lead the group but not all the time. And these groups are a big money makers. And the sad part and why I want to talk about them today is because they're all not worth the money that they charge. Now before I share with you what mastermind programs that I joined this year and whether or not they were worth the price, I need to share with you a huge lesson I've learned over the years wasting my money in masterminds and on coaches. And that first lesson is deciding on what is the goal you want the mastermind or the coach that you're looking at hiring or purchasing or enrolling in to accomplish. The very first time I invested in my first mastermind was in 2018 and I thought this was gonna be the literal answer to my business prayers. I thought it was gonna give me all the secret sauce, everything that I needed to take my business to that next level. Thinking it's gonna be the answer to your business prayers or what's gonna make your business successful isn't how you should be selecting your mastermind or your coach. You need to be looking for the coach that's going to help you achieve the goal goal that you want it to. Go ahead and hit the like button if this is starting to make sense because I'm going to tell you this is going to save you a heck of a lot of money when it comes to deciding what to invest in when it comes to your business. All right, let's walk through a couple examples of what I'm talking about. So Natasha from Shine with Natasha has her own mastermind. It's called the Instagram Confidence Accelerator. This mastermind is going to be perfect for you if you really want to focus on Instagram, grow your Instagram, start generating more leads from Instagram. Instagram. But if you're wanting to dive into how to build a course or how to set up a coaching program or how to use YouTube, that's not going to be the answer to your business prayer. So again, think about the goal you have in mind that you want a mastermind or a coach to help you accomplish and then determine through your own research if you think that program or that coach is going to help you do it. Because here's the next problem that I see happening. There are coaching programs out there and there are masterminds out there that promise to do it all for you basically the jack of all trades for masterminds and coaches. And when you see that, run. You really wanna look for the program or the coach that has that specialty in what you want to learn, that you want to focus on, that goal that you set. The second thing you need to do when looking at choosing a coach or a mastermind is get out of your comfort zone. And by this, I mean getting out of what you're comfortable investing in, because here's why. The very first masterminds and coaches that I invested in while it was a big step for me, I felt more comfortable doing it because I liked the price point. So the one that I talked about in 2018 that I invested in, I think was around $2,000 maybe. And I'm gonna tell you, you kind of get what you pay for. In that program, I was probably one of the more advanced business owners and that's not what I wanna be in a mastermind. I wanna set myself up to be the least knowledgeable in the group. So because of that experience, and because I felt like I was leading these people, that's why for a long time, I was very jaded with coaching programs. I thought coaching was a waste of money. I thought it was a scam. I thought masterminds were a waste of money because I wasn't determining the goal I wanted to achieve. And I wasn't getting out of my comfort zone when it came to investing in a mastermind or a coaching program. The third thing you wanna be looking for when picking a mastermind or a group program as well is testimonials. Remember, you need to determine the goal that you want to achieve in that mastermind or coaching program, you want to be looking for the testimonials that are talking to that point. I challenge you to reach out and really have a conversation with somebody who has worked with that coach or been through that mastermind program because that's where you're going to get the real information and not just the highlight reel that us as business owners tend to splash on our sales page with our best testimonials. Again, this is something that I didn't do. I just got super excited because I am an impulse buyer. I am recovering 
recovering from impulse buying and the sales pitch was always so good from these people. I was like, yes, yes, you get me, you know me. And I didn't determine my goal. I didn't stretch out of my boundaries and I didn't find people and ask questions. So I was pretty jaded about coaching and masterminds and thought they were all a scam until the end of 2021. I took a massive leap and a freaking huge investment and joined a mastermind. And I'm gonna tell you, it one million percent paid off. Also through that coaching program, I realized coaching and masterminding can work. It is a great process if you are thinking about these three questions and finding the right fit. And after loving it so much, I decided I wanted to open my own mastermind and coaching program. So in April of this year, I launched 10K on Replay, which is my group coaching program where I teach business owners how to start hitting consistent 10K or more months and to finally officially cross that six figure threshold in a sustainable way. Because I don't want business owners struggling what I did in the beginning where one month I had a lot of money and then next month no money and then the next month medium money. I didn't want them to experience this roller coaster ride. And so after years of doing this, I really figured out the sustainable way of making a bottom line revenue a new 10K or more every single month, packaged it all up and created it for my clients inside a 10K on replay. So if your goal for a mastermind or a coach is to set up a funnel that drives you consistent 10K or more dollars every single month in your business, this was created just for you. So like I said, if you're looking for a coach or a mastermind program to help you hit that six figure threshold or more and hit that consistent 10K or more more a month, I challenge you to apply right now to the free private training that I'm hosting on November 4th. In this training, I'm gonna walk you through what the process looks like inside of 10K on Replay and the framework that I have used to do this. And this is the exact same framework that has helped me go from less than half a million dollars last year to hitting half a million dollars with four more months to go in the year. So head on over to trinalittle.com forward slash 10K to apply for this training how to finally hit consistent revenue in your business and we'll be in contact with you on the next steps. All right, it's the moment of truth. I'm gonna break down the $65,000 I spent this year on coaching and masterminding and was it worth it? The first program that I invested in, like I said, I invested back in 2021, so in my second year in this program, is Digital Insiders with Julie Stowen. This is the mastermind and this is the coach that I believe helped me hit that half a million dollar threshold in my business. Not only having actual access to her through Voxer and getting feedback with her in weekly audits, but she also does deep dives with you in hot seats. So I was able to bring like an idea, a concept, a strategy and work through it with her in a hot seat. But in addition to her as the coach, the people inside that she has built and brought to her community has been some of the best people that I've ever met. So hands down, this was about $25,000 for the year, 100% worth my investment. The second mastermind that I invested in this year, I honestly didn't realize I needed this. It wasn't something that I was looking for. It wasn't something that I was even planning on investing in in 2022. But I did it initially for one of my full-time employees. She really wanted to grow into the marketing role of my business and really become like the CMO of my business. She is my cousin and she comes from a teacher background. She didn't really have all the business background that made her feel confident in her position. So when we found this program and we realized it really focused on giving the marketing person the confidence and the training and the foundation and also helped the visionary, the leader, the CEO, me, figure out how to start taking tasks off my plate to give to her and how to train her how to do that, I realized, okay, we need this. Enter the Rainmaker Residency by Veronica Romney. Fun fact, she is also a friend of mine inside of Digital Insiders, but when she released this program and I shared it with Erica, we pretty much were sold on the spot. So was it worth it? Absolutely. We've only been doing this program for about six months and it's already changed pretty much everything inside of my business. I'm able to have more time to focus on my content. If you watch last week's video that I published about why I only have 50,000 
subscribers and what I'm doing to change it. The only way I'm able to get stuff off my plate over to Erica is because she has the confidence now to dealing with all the marketing things and I can put more focus onto my YouTube channel. So when we talk about the goal of that mastermind, why it's so successful for us, it was because I wanted to get more off my plate and Erica wanted to have more confidence in the marketing side of the business. So win-win, it definitely accomplished our goals. So the third mastermind that I invested in this year was Mariah Causes High Ticket Hybrid. Now the goal of this program for me was to get my evergreen funnel set up and running. Since I had spent so much time over the past 15 months in my agency, we had really neglected our funnel. We had set it up and really kind of forgot it. So after 15 months, it was pretty much dead. And I knew after going through Digital Insiders for over a year now that I wanted to try a coaching program of my own. And that's really what Mariah's High Ticket Hybrid talks about. So once I purchased it, I got to work. So within 90 days, I was able to set up my very first high ticket coaching program. And we made six figures on that very first launch within 90 days of following Mariah's process. We literally used no ads to do this either. So was it worth it? It was eight times worth the investment. So I basically made back my money eight times with just launching it one time. Each one of these coaching programs had a very specific goal that I wanted them to achieve. And I really believe that is why they've been so successful for me and why I haven't felt jaded or unhappy with the programs that I've invested in. It has been worth every single penny spent and I honestly believe it has given us the foundation to possibly hit seven figures. Now if you're looking for a coaching program to help you hit at least $100,000 in 2023 and to help you hit at least 10k every single month or more in your business, go apply for the free private training that I am hosting on November 4th where I'm going to share with you my process for how to hit consistent monthly income in my business. The training is totally totally free. You just have to apply to be there. Go to trinalittle.com forward slash 10k and we will be in touch with the next steps. Now this year, 2022, is also the year that I decided to become more minimalistic in my business. So what does that mean and how did I do that? Well, watch the video on your screen right now because that's where I go into a deep dive of what a minimalistic business means to me and how I went into making that happen in 2022 for me. So I'll see you over in that video.